So you know we've been taking you behind the scenes of some great holiday traditions this season. And what is more Christmassy than Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? The Atlanta Center for Puppetry Arts is the only place in the world that has the rights to recreate the 1964 classic. And they do it. I mean, it is almost perfect. So check out how they make the show come to life with puppets. He's got a shiny nose. This is a shiny. I'd even say it glowed. Why don't we do, the, you know, the part where um, uh, Yukon is going to get his life-sustaining supplies? Sure. Why don't we kind of go from there and we can kind of show you what we're doing. Um, now, you can see there's a playboard here, and we, we remain hidden as puppeteers behind that, but we got to work hard to make sure our puppets stay up there. It's frequently tiring on the arms, especially with some of the heavier puppets, but then we're down below here moving the puppets around. Well, I'm off to fetch my life-sustaining supplies. Cornmeal and gunpowder, and ham hocks and guitar strings. <laughs> there are a lot of times when you'll be manipulating a puppet, somebody else is providing voice or vice versa. In this show, we more often get to be ourselves, well, not ourselves, but our own characters. <laughs> I don't know what we would have done without Rudolph. Sam here is a special puppet. He's the only puppet that it lives on a stand. You can see he's on a stand that can be rolled around the stage. And then underneath the puppet, we have a, a mech here that allows me to turn his head. You can see if I rotate the control and you look up at his head, I can rotate his head and I can tilt it up and down, you know, and make him look around like that. And then I'm responsible for moving him around the stage. But I can't do it all myself, so Ileana here is being my arms. And so we have to work together to make all of the gestures make some kind of sense as we communicate with the puppet together. Um, now, you know how Santa uses these flying reindeer to pull his sleigh? You know Dasher and Dancer, Prancer and Vixen. I think the biggest thing with a show like this is the multitasking. <laughs> There's a lot of split brain action going on where you're keeping the song going and you're singing and you're acting. But at the same time, you're thinking a couple of moves ahead and going, I need to get this puppet to the other side of the stage so that Fred can pick it up and carry it around. And then I need to move this piece of scenery. And then I'm going to go down here. And I need to move my knees out of the way because, you know, Sam is going to come through here really fast. You know, there's a lot of that that goes on. But some of these puppets have rods on their arms so their arms can operate. And then Rudolph actually has some cool stuff inside that not only lets his uh, head pivot and stuff like that, but his nose will light up. <laughs> ah, great bouncing icebergs! One of my favorite things about uh, watching people see this production for the first time is that there are so many characters and so many puppets in this show. I think there are 63, maybe 64 puppets in this show. And they all are identical to the creations that you see in the special. And so when people see the characters, they it sparks their memory, and I love that part.